now on YouTube, and today we're opening Soul Fusion. So I'm very excited to be opening this set. This is more of a core set, this is less of a collector set. Very, Some very crucial, important cards in the set. You've got support for Danger. You've got a archetype based on the classic card Thunder Dragon. And those are the most, well, the most expensive card in this set is Thunder Dragon Colossus, which is retailing, well, which is priced at the moment the about the same price as the box, which is quite, insane but it is an insane card under dragon colossus i actually had a dream that i pulled one i think it's one or two per case so yeah also got support for noble knights and the world legacy cards are continued in the orchestrated 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 archetype let's move on to that anyway some beautiful cards in here and we will start here on the right side first pack Up. Starting things off with Predoplast, Dino Wrestler. Oh yeah, you also have a, a new archetype in here called Dino Wrestler, which is dinosaurs dressed as wrestlers. And it has pretty much the best card in the set, which is a common, which is a Dino Wrestler Pancratops. Some summon some summer summoner. This is the new link monster for Thunders, which goes well with the Thunder Dragon archetype, which is in, in this box. It's quite funny that that's the translation here. So rare we pull this clock with him. And our first super rare is some summer summoner. We also have Crusadia Spatha, Patchwork Fluffle, and Concentrating Current. Card to do with that Patchwork Fluffle. I think it's Patchwork Fluffle that was from the OCG and it finally got imported into the TCG. A Jimp Orchestrated Attack, Constellation Prize, and Cyber Clock Dragon. That's the one on the box. He's a little hard to summon, I think. You need the Clock Wyvern and one plus Link Monsters. So he's a bit conditional, but that artwork is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, I like purple. Purple is one of my favorite colors. Straight. We also have another quite common new archetype here, Salaman Greats. Crusadia Crawler, until Noble Knights are needed once again. That's an amusing name. Thunder Dragon Discharge. The activation of your Thunder Monsters effects cannot be negated once per turn if a Thunder Dragon monster. You can target one spell, trap on the field, and banish a Thunder Monster from your deck and destroy it. So, Ghostrick Holder. Pretty cool that work on that one as well. We got the Ultra uh, Cybers Clock Dragon and our Supers up there. See if we can work it. Next pack. Seen quite a few Danger Boxes where they pull both Danger Secrets, the Snake and the Thunderbird. Goki Pole and Folgo Justice for Hire. Nice. We've pulled our Link for Hire. Two monsters with different types. If this card is Link Summoned, you can special summon one for higher with a different type from the three monsters used from your deck in defense position. If a card your opponent controls is destroyed by battle card effects, you can draw one card, and if you control three or more monsters, draw two additional cards. I've seen a lot of cards in this set that are like, draw one card, but then if you meet the requirements, you can draw two cards. So, interesting though. For that draw power. Galaxy Brave. World Legacy World Wand. Dino Wrestler, Pancratops. He's the uh, best card in the set, common, apparently. So we'll put him over there. Salomon Great Foxy, Orchestrated Babel, and Sky Striker, Sky Striker Maneuver Vector Blast. This is the new Sky Striker spell card. Each player sends the top two cards of their deck to the graveyard for, or as many as possible, if less than two. Then if you send at least one card to the graveyard and have three or more spells in your graveyard, you can shuffle all your opponent's monsters from the extra monster zones into the deck. So it's a way of getting rid of those extra links, those nightmares. Pull her out. 
No Thunder Dragon so far. Nordic Alpha, Edgimp, Thunder Dragon Discharge. And we did pull a Thunder Dragon Trap. Necro Valley Throne. Oh, yeah, you've got some interesting support for the Gravekeeper archetype in here. With Necro Valley Throne and a few monsters that are fusion, which are interesting. Crusadia, Gravekeeper Spiritualist, Orchestrate. Oh, oh, oh no. Saw that. Did you see that? I saw that. Did you see that? Damn right, you didn't. <laughs> Parallel Panzer, Bear Blocker, Dino Wrestler King T Rex style, Orcust Harp Horror, and Thunder Dragon Titan. It's hot. That's our secret rare. It's not the hottest, but it's hot. Wow. Two for one team. That's getting sleeved up. It does look like the dragon from Dragon Ball Z, whoever that is. It's a little off center there on that left side. Thunder Dragon Titan. Now it would be insane if we pulled the Colossus after that. Have both sequences for Thunder Dragon. Incantation. Oh yeah, you got two new incantations. It's got bookstone and the pen, pencil. Thunder Dragon. Hundred. Oh, Danger Dogman. Apparently not the best danger, but still. Cool that they're making more danger support because it's hard to get some danger with them being all the best ones. Secret rare and Cybernet Horizon. and thought it wasn't recording. Orchestrated Attack, World Legacy World 1, Galaxy Brave, Orchestrated Babel, and some, two summer, Summoners. Two Summer Summer Summoners. It's not Summer anymore, Summoner. It's Autumn now. We need some Autumn Summoner. Gravekeeper Seven and Galaxy Eyes, Soul Flare Dragon. That's the pencil guy. Pencil plume. DDD. Necrofusion. Dino wrestler. We really only pulled one Pancratops. Must have been except. Oh, no, those are Pancratops. That's two. Got everything we want. Go higher link. Sky Stripe. Go. Dogman. Bookstone. Galatea the August. August automation. Massive scythe she's got, that's cool. Cool outlook. Well done. Last pack on the right hand side here. So Salamangre and Dino Wrestler are two very good new archetypes that are going to be quite cheap to get into as well. Thunder Dragon Discharge and Mystric Holder. Let's do a Pencil Plume. You need to be playing those incantations if you are running a ritual deck for sure. Just move that off to the side a bit. Noble Knight Ivan. Okay. Morgan the Enchantress of Avalon. Hundred Thunders. Getting plenty of those Thunder Dragon traps. Which I would think you need because you need to banish them from the deck to protect your Thunder Dragons on the field, is that true? 
had a little play around with the Thunder Dragon deck on White Gold Cross. It is quite insane once you get those big fusions on the field. Gravekeeper's Headman, Extra Foolish Burial. This is an interesting card because it lets you send monsters from your extra deck to the graveyard. So that could be quite spammable in the future, I think. What's the other secret going to be? The other secret. Pancratops. You like him. There's the Freight for a Patchwork that we're talking about. And we have a Thunder Dragon duo. Don't think this is the best one here. Or one of the good ones. I think you're only going to be running one of these. It's not the Searcher. It's not the Searcher. Giant ballpark. Danger Mothman. Cool. So this is like a peas in the meme, isn't it? With that moth meme, Danger Mothman. Nice. Spooky. Can go with that. Dogman. Don't know if werewolf is like copyrighted, but they have to call it Dogman. So it's definitely a werewolf. We have Dragon, Crusadia Crawler. He's the Gravekeeper that looks just like Pakura. And Herald of the Abyss. Now, I've heard good things about this card. Let's have a read, shall we? Pay 1500 life points, declare one monster type and attribute. Your opponent must send one face up monster with a declared type and attribute from their field to the graveyard. If possible, for the rest of this turn, your opponent cannot activate the effects of monsters with that sent monster's name. But it like cancels out one of the monster's effects with the same name as that monster. So if you were trying to spam it, if you were trying to spam monster effects, that card would be the card to stop. Predator plants in this as well. Danger beware! Salmon great. Dino Wrestler, Thunder Dragon Matrix, the rare there before... Okay, here's a good one. Thunder Dragon Dark. So Matrix is just a rare, but it's one that you definitely need for the Thunder Dragon deck. Because it's a quick effect, you can discard this card, then target one Thunder Dragon monster you control it, gets 5 to attack, fair enough. If this card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Thunder Dragon Matrix from your deck to your hand. You can only use one Thunder Dragon Matrix effect once per turn. And here we have Thunder Dragon Dark. Quick effect, you can discard this card, add one Thunder Dragon Dark from your deck to your hand. If this card is banished or sent from the field to the graveyard, you can add one Thunder Dragon card from your deck to your hand, except Thunder Dragon Dark. You can only use one. Yeah, okay. I think this is the search. Yeah. Cool. So that's uh, Ultra Rare. I think we've got all our Ultra Rares now. We've got Galaxy Eyes, Morgan, and Clock Dragon, maybe? Cybers? What will be the secret rare? Will it be a danger? Or will it be a thunder? Let's go. Until noble arms are needed once again. Pancratops. Orcist Harp Horror and Second Expedition into Danger. This is another trap card for the dangers. The first one was called Expedition into Danger. So that's now the second. Very nice. <laughs> Very creative names there. Of course. Another Sky Striker vector base. I've not seen two in a box before. Did the rare up? No, it's out of fusion. Three packs left and no secret rare. What's happening? King Rex Rexdale, Headman, and Trap Trick is our secret rare. Now I think this has an insane effect. Banish one normal track from your deck except Trap Trick 
trap trick and set one card with the same name directly from your deck so it can be activated this turn. You can only activate one trap card for the rest of this turn. So this card lets you search a normal trap from your deck and activate it just there and then. So pretty insane. Pretty insane for that. There we've got our two secrets, Thunder Dragon Titan and Trap Trick. Pancratops. Donorous Lion Cantation, Thunder Dragon Discharge, and another Folgo. Another for higher link ones. Nice. I have buried him somewhere. He's in there somewhere. Maybe back there. Gravekeeper. Last pack. Noble Knight Yvonne again. That's that. That was our first box of Soul Fusion. And we pulled some good cards here. We've got Thunder Dragon Titan and a Trap Chick for our secrets. We got some. We got one Mothman, one Dogman, Galaxy Eye Soul Flare, Thunder Dragon Dark, Thunder Dragon Dark. Yep. Yeah. One Cyber's Clock, and yeah, two Sky Striker things as well. So, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos. In my last video, I announced a giveaway for Called by the Grave playset. It's Flames of Destruction booster box video. It will be linked somewhere, maybe over there and enter that if you'd like. All you have to do is comment on that video with your favourite Yu-Gi-Oh card and the giveaway ends on the 23rd of this month which is October. Thank you for watching if you made it this far and I will see you in the next one. Bye.